So I was thinking of a prison, a prison system. I'm trying to develop one that is better. That may be the best, or well, at least seeks to test it. Test what is better, test what is best. For the sake of always believing that such should be sought after and seek to be achieved. This is representative of movement forward. Movement is life. So it would say movement. And they say forward, or forward. And they say back with back. And they say to the right. Then they say to the west. In all directions. Movement. So I was wondering of the. Well. One aspect is is love. Is it unconditional love? What is what is exactly? Tell me what is exactly when I'm thinking of a prison where you give them all the same amenities as everyone else that is not in prison. In today's economic structure, it does mean they will actually have best or better than a lot of the people. The economic fight to have to get home and access to food, <clears throat> excuse me, entertainment, things of that nature. If you gave criminals nice quarters, you're allowed to be at home. Make them comfortable. Give them a good bed. Give them good food. Give them their own little city. Would it be a benefit to that? Would that help some? Or would it at least show compassion? What is true compassion? What is true compassion? Is the word, what is the one definition? In spirit. And indeed, that shows what compassion is. What is the value of compassion? What is his weight compared to any and all things else? All things else? All things else? Is a high on the scale or low? Should it take precedence? Should it not? Does it matter? Does it not? We're leaving it, but we're leaving in Compassion, I'm trying to understand what that means, compassion, what unconditional love means. There's acceptance of the truth of one, the truth of all. And thus leads us to the truth of human nature. 
forgive and pray. No, not what they do. We know it's going to be done. There is a reason, and the reason is truth. And yet there are different visions of truth. They're scientific, they have a theological I believe we are where we are. And that isn't that good or bad. Just that we do and we don't. Some do, some don't. It is in the, what's, what is all within the span and scope of man and what we are capable of. It is an expression of the human condition and it's got to express in all the variations that humans exist in. There has to be the lover, there has to be the fighter. There has to be the good, there has to be the evil. For it is there to be lived, to be experienced, to take hold of one's existence because it is a possibility. It exists. So it must be lived by someone. So we give them this. We actually try to be in some happiness. No, it might have been a deep seat in a happiness that got me in the first place. Unless there's a disconnect from happiness and it wasn't part of happiness that made them do such. It is just non feeling whatsoever. With these two, you, you can even group them by crime. You put all the murders in one city, all the rapists in another. And they can have no contact with the outside world. It is just their own city. They have been secluded to their own domain now. They are lost their right, if you will, to engage with the larger populace, which has deemed that their actions unacceptable to the whole. But what is acceptable? What is it? Because then we could we start putting we start putting thieves in our own. She started thinking of really getting ridiculous, getting out to jaywalkers in her own human nature. You know, in the city, can't talk, can't physically be with another one from outside of the community. And actually, should there be rules? Because I don't wonder if they're actually allowed to be lawless. No retribution by the authorities for anything they did to anyone. The city of murders, they decide to murder each other, then that's what they do. That's what they want. They see the rapists, if they get raped, then that's what they do. That's what they want. The unjust go to the domain of the unjust. And you live within that. The problem that we may incur 
is an unjust seclusion as there have been the innocent that have been confined and locked up, persecuted. So you must look for a way to avoid that because it has been deemed unjust, I believe. It is a mise because it is about the truth. The truth is someone did not do what has been said that they did. That which they did was wrong. Not doing it means it's right. It's unjust, it's a lie. They have been wrongly convicted by way of a lie. To say that they did it and they didn't is a lie, which is the greatest transgression. So then that brings in the cameras. That brings in the RFID chipping. To know the location they went to be able to see all things. For the safety of them all. For we have shown ourselves to be a danger. Out of the blue.